The question was asked, how do you factor t cubed plus 11t squared minus 84t plus 20? The way to factor this, or one way to factor this, is to use synthetic division. Before using synthetic division, you have to have an idea of what factor might divide evenly into it. And to do this, all right, the factors that might divide evenly into it would be the, the factors that have um, as, as their zeros the following numbers. Okay? And you, you take the numbers that have the a factor of 20, the, the, the constant, and the factors of 20 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 10, plus or minus 20. Those are the factors of 20 over the factors of the leading coefficient, 1, and those would be, of course, plus or minus 1. And so we take all combinations of of these divided by plus or minus one. Well, dividing by one will just change the sign. So, so for example, let's check to see if the factor that divides has, say, two as a zero. In other words, it's to see if t minus 2 is a factor. Now, I don't know whether it is or not. We're just going to try it. We'll just say that this is a try. Okay? So here's how synthetic division goes. We take the coefficients, all right? The, x, the t cubed coefficient is 1. The, the t squared coefficient is 11. The t coefficient is negative 84. And the constant coefficient is 20. All right, remember if any of these coefficients, if any terms were missing, for instance, if it would have been t cubed minus 84t plus 20, no t squared term, we'd have to use a 0 in place of that. All right, and then to check this, let's try. All right, to see if t minus 2 is a factor. So we'll use the number 2 here. We start by bringing down the 1 and multiplying that by 2. All right, then when we multiply by 2, we'll add that to the 11 and get a 13. Multiply this by 2, the 13 by 2, and we get a 26. 26, <coughs> excuse me, and negative 84 is, I believe, 58. Let me double check, though. Six, 6 and 8 is 14, and 6 and 2 carrying the 1, 6 and 2 is 8. Okay, yes, that's right. And then um, 58 eight times 2 is 116. Okay, when we add 116 to one or to 20, we get 136. In order for this to be a factor, this must be zero. So zero implies that that's a factor. All right, let's try another one. Let's see if t minus five. Let's see if that's a factor, okay? So to see if t minus 5 is a factor, well, we'll remember, use the 0 of this factor. When t is 5, the factor will be 0. Then 1, 11, negative 84, 20. All right, and bring down the 1. <coughs> 1, 1 times 5, <coughs> excuse me, 1 times 5 is, is um, 5 plus 11 is 16. 16 times 5 is 80, plus negative 84 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 and 20 is 
<coughs> 0. So, all right, t minus 5 is a factor. Remember, when this turns out to be 0, then the, the, that, that expression was a factor. So we can write this t cubed right, plus 11 t squared minus 84 t plus 20 as t minus 5 times. And now these numbers here give us the coefficients of the other factor. So it would be negative 4, starting with the constant, all right, plus 16, the next higher power of t is t to the first, plus 1 times t squared. So the other factor would have been t squared plus 16t minus 4.